guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's episode of Fossil Friday, we're going to be looking at some nautiloids. Now, nautiloids are really cool examples of living fossils. So I'm sure a lot of you know about the Nautilus, which is swimming around our oceans still to this day, but we can find fossilized versions. So I thought I'd shake it up a little bit from the usual ammonite content. So I have two lovely specimens of fossilized nautiloids and I thought we could um, finish their prep today. So I've got a model here and a fossil so I can show you. So this is what a living nautilus looks like. So I don't actually have any of their shells. So I'm trying to find some vintage or secondhand versions of their shells because it's a very unhealthy collector's market um, and they are very endangered now. But you can see the beautiful sort of colorings on their shells and I'm sure you guys have seen them around. So they look like this and there are different types. You get paper nautilus, you get um, the, I don't know all their different names, but there's a few variations, but they're all pretty endangered. But I just have this lovely model here so they kind of look like this so they're very squid like and from the family of mollusks so they look like that and then fossilized nautiloids look like this so you can see that the shells are still very similar to modern day they're just very simple like this they're pretty chunky so i've got this nice big one and then i also have this little specimen as well so they're not going to take much prep i this one i've already prepped a little bit on i think i did it in a video right when i got like very early on when i got my um dremel 290 but i'm just going to prep it a little bit more and then i'm going to put a coat of paraloid on them both so they can be perfect little specimens so that's what we're working with today so i'll flip you guys down and we can get prepping so before we begin any prep using the dremel i do just want to add that face protection and eye protection is a must so you want to protect what you're breathing in because you will create clouds of dust and also your eyes just from any chips of rock so make sure you have a face mask or a pair of goggles um, before you begin and then for this prep i'm just going to use the chisel nib which is a customized nib so i'll lib i'll um link these all down below if you'd like to get the same sort of attachments for your Dremel um, but I think this is going to be a very quick and easy prep just to kind of make them pretty perfect and then we'll paraloid them up. I think I'll sing it again she had no second time I think I'll sing it again she had no second time that's like I finished putting the paraloid on and I think it's made such a difference. It's really helped bring out the colours in the shell there. So I love how the big ones turned out. And if I put the real, sh like the model next to it, they're kind of the perfect size. It almost makes a heart. Look at that. So I'm really happy with how this specimen's turned out. And then the little one is also pretty perfect. So these I'm hoping will kind of stand up on their own. Oh, they do stand up on their own, but this one leans forward too much. So I'll have to make a stand for this so it can kind of sit back like that. Or oh, it might sit. No, it doesn't. But the little one is perfect just as it is. Look at that. Ta-da! So that's all I got for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed today's episode of Fossil Friday. I'm really chuffed with how my Nautiloids have turned out. I think they're just really nice examples of what the fossils look like and I love the fact that it shows that the shells preserve and you can see all the chambers going round but the soft parts of the creature obviously haven't and I just think it's yeah they're just lovely examples so I'm really happy with how this big one's turned out the colors are just stunning like look at that so I'm really chuffed with that and then the little one is just a really sweet sweet addition to my collection I think it's been disformed a little bit, but it kind of means you can actually see the um, chambers really nicely. So absolutely love it. 
But um, yeah, please like and subscribe if you did enjoy today's video. I'll be back with more next week on Friday as usual. And I'll link all my social media down below if you'd like to follow me on there as well. I'll also link down below the products I use, which is just the Dremel 290 and Paraloid B72. But I'll put it down below in case you'd like to check that out. But um, yeah, thank you again for watching and hopefully I'll see you next week.